This is my favorite screwdriver. It's the one I use the most, mainly because it has all the bits inside that I use. And the really handy and convenient thing about it is that, you know, you slide the switch forward and the blade shoots out, or I mean the screwdriver shoots out, and then you pull it back. It works like a switch blade, exactly the same as a switch blade. And um, it's great because you never lose the bits. If it ever does jam, which sometimes it does, the cure is to pound it on the palm of your hand here, the end of it, and that usually resets the mechanism and it works again. Now I bought this around 12 years ago and I've been using it ever since. I've got one problem with it though, and that's the smaller uh, standard blade here has the corner broke off. So about five years ago, I bought this one right here, which looks the same, although I don't think it is. First thing I noticed was that the plastic that the, you know, makes up the tip up here is softer than the stuff that they made this from. And the bit actually turned. When I had a big screw and I needed to put a lot of torque on, this, the bit actually turned around inside that plastic sleeve there. But lately, what happened to it is that it has stopped working altogether. And it doesn't matter how much of that there I do, this thing is not coming out. So I thought I would take it apart and we'll have a look inside and see what makes it tick, first of all. And if I can't fix it, what I'll do is I'll take the small standard blade from this one and replace the one that's in here with it. Okay, I've got the operating table set up here and both screwdrivers. I'm actually gonna use this screwdriver to take apart this one. First thing I'm gonna do is take the end cap off. Now I haven't taken either one of these apart before, so I don't really know what to expect. Let's take this off. I don't want any springs to come flying out. But that's in there and it almost seems like these things may slide out let's see what happens when I push this thing see what it springs back anyway it looks like there are well there are six of these for each one of the blades but it looks like I'm gonna have to take off the nose section as well to get deeper in oh hang on now Ooh, those things, that, those screws just hold on the sections. I'm going to continue taking them out, though, because I want to get this whole thing apart and see what the hell the problem is. Kind of a neat design so far, anyway. Something that I can appreciate, that's for sure. Okay, so here's the one that's currently deployed out the nose here. So it is the typical switchblade mechanism here. And there's springs inside that work with it. I'm just going to try to see the problem is this is not coming out of the it seems to be stuck in there and now that I look at it it's actually turned inside this nose part and that might be what caused the problem in the first place. Funny I didn't check that and maybe that's what it was because I don't see anything obvious wrong with this thing here. Like I say the way this thing works is in the same way as a switchblade does. I think I'm just gonna put it back together. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to work as it is. See, like that, and then it should retract back in, but it's not doing that for some reason. So I put it back in, and then well enough. Well, it will, I think it will. I think actually that's the only problem there was with this was that it was turned inside that nose part. So something I got to watch out for. And I'm amazed that I never actually checked that. I'm going to temporarily put it back together and see if it actually works. No, it's not coming out. Seems to be going crooked. This one comes out. You know, I don't know what it's actually supposed to look like, so I'll compare it to another one and see if I can see anything obvious. They look the same. Here's the spring mechanism I was talking about. Little tension springs, actually. My switchblade, my wooden switchblade, has compression springs, though. It goes in here like that and clips in. And then, so, I'm just going to put it back together and see if it actually works properly because I can't see anything obvious here with it. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one apart and compare. Just have a quick look and see what it looks like on the inside to see if there's any major differences. Outwardly, there's no obvious differences. I mean, the plastic even looks the same, but I know that this one has worked flawlessly ever since I, you know, bought it. Whereas this one has given me problems. <laughs> I've taken them both apart uh, for a direct comparison between the two, and I cannot see any difference between one and the other. I've compared all the parts. I put both of them back together. I did take the uh, smaller standard out of this one and put it in this one though. But a funny thing happened when I put it in here. I'm getting the same behavior. So there is a difference there, but I just, I can't see it. It's one of those very small things that you'll overlook if you're, unless you're, you know, spending hours on it. And these are just screwdrivers after all, so I don't have hours to spend on it. But see what I mean? It's working exactly the same way in this handle as it did in the other one. Whereas the other ones, well, for the most part, still work the way they're supposed to. And there you go. I don't know. This one is still the same deal. Well, it occasionally works. But it won't retract the bits. This one doesn't want to happen at all. This one doesn't even shoot it forwards. There it goes. And it won't pull it back. So I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is bring this one out and give it the bigger hammer fix, actually. <laughs> because, uh, I don't know, I just can't, you know, I'm pounding a hole in my palm, banging it on there.